Hey, it's Josh Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And we're taking... Hey, it's Josh Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And we're taking a look at the cameras of the iPhone 7 and the Galaxy S7 to compare the two. Now, because these are the smaller devices in their respective lines, we're going to just use those cameras. And you can take a look at our comparison of the Note 7 versus the 7 Plus. And that will be in a different video. But for now, we're just taking a look at these. Now we're mainly going to be passing judgment on the picture quality, so you'll see a lot of still shots here, and we'll zoom into them with 100 crops from time to time. However, in abundant light, for the most part, we found that it's kind of a toss-up between these two cameras. While the Galaxy S7 might tend to saturate a little bit more than the slightly more accurate iPhone 7 in its pictures, we did find that both pictures were actually really pleasing to the eye. We also did a lot of these photos with HDR off, so unless otherwise stated, all of these photos are purely from the the sensor and camera app in auto mode without HDR. We do have one main example to show the HDR effects and we'll let you know when that comes up. Main camera recording was done in 4K resolution, which means that video stabilization, the software videos, will be off. But all of these clips will be optically stabilized still, so you can see what that effect has on the videos. Both cameras use 12 megapixels and the Galaxy S7 uses dual focus pixels to help with autofocus, which will be shown in a clip in a little bit. But from there you have 4K video recording and on the front facing cameras you have the 5 megapixels on the Galaxy S7 and 7 megapixels on the iPhone 7. However, the Galaxy S7 is capable of recording 2K video on the front shooter. I'm good, I'm good. Awesome. That's, that's awesome setup right there. I've kind of snuck in and got some bulletproof. I'm not even attending this conference. <laughs> Now you may notice that the Galaxy S7's front-facing camera is using software stabilization at 1080p. This is mainly to demonstrate how it does have this software stabilization over the iPhone 7, which does not. So in this particular situation from the top balcony at the NerdBotCon in Pasadena, I was able to zoom into this photo and notice that the iPhone 7 does tend to overexpose just a little bit while the Galaxy S7 does tend to oversaturate. However, in this picture, the details are captured very well no matter which one you look at. That changes when I'm taking a look at this particular close-up photo where the close-up when zoomed in actually shows that the Galaxy S7 is better at getting the details in the furriness of this little flurry. On. Even this awesome rendition of Ash from The Evil Dead was better rendered on the Galaxy S7 which did a better job of sharpening the image as you can see in the chainsaw hand there where it's just a little bit softer in the iPhone 7 putting the Galaxy S7 above it in terms of just overall quality. Now when judging dynamic range, I had to keep HDR off, and then I turned it on later to see what the effect would be. In these photos with HDR off, uh, there definitely was a little bit better dynamic range in the iPhone 7, which was able to better expose the darker areas while not blowing out the rest. However, when HDR was turned on, the Galaxy S7 simply blew away the iPhone 7 in terms of its high dynamic range, and also the fact that the HDR on the iPhone 7 is actually quite a bit more subtle. super commercial that I know everyone knows. Like, uh, <laughs> Maybe the tabletop gaming Let's take one last look at HDR before we get into our few low light shots. Basically what the Galaxy S7 is trying to do is compensate and kind of over exaggerate its shadows while the iPhone 7 is trying to tone down what might otherwise be an already pretty well exposed photo. And as I did mention, the autofocus speed of the Galaxy S7 is actually a lot better than the iPhone 7, mainly because of its dual focus pixels. In this particular example, you can see after tapping on the same area on both cameras while recording video, the Galaxy S7 simply does it a lot faster. And for our final shots here in this camera comparison, we'll take a look at low light comparisons. The Galaxy S7 does tend to go warmer in its color temperature, but as you can see here in Mega Man, the details and the sharpness overall in the Galaxy S7 is better for its subject. And there's no better place to actually take a look at these low light situations than in a restaurant. A foodie picture is coming up just after this, but you can see via the text on the wall that the Galaxy S7 has better 
sharpness even if it is a lot warmer in color temperature. And our final shot here is a foodie photo and you can see that all of those mustard seeds are looking better on the Galaxy S7. And so there you have it for this comparison between the cameras of the iPhones and the Samsung Galaxy S7. The Galaxy S7 did excel in sharpness and detail in plenty of the shots that we saw, but really if you take a look at both of these cameras, you're going to get a good image or video either way. They're both very capable cameras and you can let us know in the comments below which one you would prefer. Keep it tuned to Android Thor for even more coverage of Android up against the new iPhones and remember to stay tuned because we are your source for all things Android.